this is going to ruin Counter Strike's economy. They just dropped a brand new update. By the I mean Valve, including Arms Race. That's kind of cool. I love this game mode already. This map's amazing. Don't play Baggage. It's trash. Just AFK for Baggage. I don't even know. They've added custom sticker placement. The economy is ruined, guys. If you know, you know. I'll give a short explanation. Stickers had set placements. And those set placements meant that certain placements of certain stickers had higher values. Example, you put a sticker up here, it's way more valuable than it is down here. You have a Titan Hollow here, it'll be worth more than it is on the handle. Because it, you're always seeing that sticker. You don't have to be inspecting the weapon to see the sticker. Alright, moving on. The Kilowatt case. They finally dropped the case. Alright. Not only do we have dual, all these amazing community skins. I love Lightbox. This skin is amazing. Not only do we have all these community skins. Some of these are... Oh, they're so good. I don't, Lego Glock, guys. Lego Glock. Anyway. And this 5-7 skin's clean. We have Zeus skins. Zeus skins. And it's literally... a. Well, Everyone speculated that you could have skins for the Zeus. You can now. Not just that. The cookery knife dropped. The cookery knife, it's here. We have the Fade skin. We have the Slaughter skin. We have Case Hardened. We have... I don't know what that is. I think we have Blue Steel. It's cracked. I'm excited. The Case prices, I'll show you in a second. It's insane. The cookery knife, it looks kind of sick. I haven't inspected it in-game yet. The Zeus... Give me that. I never use the Zeus, but it will be a flex. These stickers? Well. Music. They added new six new music kits you can buy in the shop. XP Overload. I'm going to show you what XP Overload does. Uh, CS Agents. This. This. They all have a different victory, defeat, dance, fair skin. It's cool. Alright, release notes. Yes, skins. Yes, the Zeus is reusable. It recharges. That's kind of correct as well. You can apply stickers and name tags to the Zeus. The Zeus has a first person kill. I don't know. They changed the model and they added kill icons to the kill cards and post round damage report. And of course, they added skins to the Zeus. You can't forget that. Don't forget that. They added a refund all button. A bunch of stuff. Sub tick shooting. They're trying to fix the. They're trying to fix the gunplay. Maybe the orbs will be b better. The fix some player minor things, player things, change some of the sound effects, VIP, blah, 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 an audio input device. I love this because I hate having to go into Steam Audio and then into my default audio settings to change what mic I'm using. This is a lifesaver. Okay, especially with my VR headset, it always changed the microphone that was a pain. Reduced Peaker's Advantage. They tried to reduce Peaker's Advantage in a steady state. Average. They've reduced it by 16 milliseconds. Very nice. They've also reduced the frequency of situations that leads to very large speaker's advantage due to excessive command queue depth. I don't know what th does that mean, like spamming A and D, maybe. I don't know. I am not braining right now. XP overload. Let's explain this. When you have reached your max amount of extra XP or normal XP during the week, that's 11,166 XP, and reach you reduce XP gains reduce drastically. Yeah. XP overload is a word attached to your player, your, your, to, to, your, to your profile, and in the scoreboard and main menu, etc. XP overload status is awarded for a minimum of one week, and additional tiers of XP overload can be unlocked by earning all of the normal XP over multiple consecutive weeks. Okay, this kind of rewards, not only does it reward playing until you've reached your XP cap, it rewards continuing to play until your XP cap. So maybe the more maybe to promote more longer sessions, more players, etc. They've changed some agents, like the agent thing, awesome. Uh CS ratings, they're working on that. I think Crimea is still crap or whatever. I don't know what the rich present thing does. Minor improvements to animations during demo playback, very nice, very cool. Then they fixed a bunch of stuff on maps, like getting stuff on walls. Oh, oh wait, let's go back up. They fixed um silent drops. Yeah, so there were some silent drops that were that were in existence, and they fixed them. See this? 
channel. So, I don't know, I haven't checked, tried that out yet. That's kind of crazy. Now, we're gonna look at the things. We have... By the way, if you wonder what I'm talking about with the stickers, where is the thing? Bam, cloth, sticks. Example, it is way more valuable to have an expensive sticker in this position than it is to have an expensive sticker in this position because you are never going to see the sticker on the handle unless you inspect the weapon. Whereas up here, you'll be seeing it all the time. Look at this. Oh yeah, they added that button. I don't think that was here before and that's amazing. I can change the scenery. That's cracked. I love that. Anyway, this is cool. Now, the maps. We have map baggage go. This this map is terrible. I have nothing good to say about this map. This is the worst map ever. You walk out spawn, instantly get headshot. I hate it. Stop it. Look up here. Look, look at this. Oh yeah, the Zeus recharge. See that number going up? The Zeus recharges. He fought so bad, by the way. But like, you can just stand anywhere and get the kill. Also, why the heck is the all forsaken weapon? It's, it's way too cracked. I don't understand. Anyway. You, yeah, it's it's kind of broken. Next map. Map. Uh, what's it called? Shooters? Shooters? Something like that. Yes. It's called Shoots. I love this map. This map is amazing. Alright? Listen up. It's, it's kind of... Look at this. It's based on ancient. I love the style. And I love the formula. You have an up, a lower, and an upstairs. You get up here. You start the game. You get some free kills. Alright, you can get headshot from unaware people. Maybe they're still trying to figure out what the map does when they're loading into the game. It's amazing. Next thing you do, you can end up down here and you get the knives and, and it's great. You can jump around like you, you can... What the heck? You can jump from down there behind the person. I love this map. More close quarters, more range, more balance. Baggage needs some work. Valve, what the heck are you doing releasing baggage? It is the most... The biggest, like, worst map I've ever seen. And I play TF2. There, there are some absolutely terrible TF2 maps. That's all I have for you guys today. Give me your thoughts in the comments. Check out my other videos. Bye.